Hey everybody, welcome back to Live on Stage. I am your host, Lucio Fernandez. Muy buenas noches, señoras y señores. Bienvenidos a En Vivo y en Escena conmigo, Lucio Fernández. Esta noche le tenemos preparado un show, bueno, un poporrí de cosas. Tenemos ópera, tenemos música, tenemos, tenemos entrevistas, un poquito de todo para ustedes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we have a poporrí of a show tonight. We have some opera, we have some music, we have some interviews, but more importantly than that, we, you, you. You, not me, you, well, I have me too, yeah, I have me, but you have me right here on Live On Stage, and you can tune me in, you can tune me out, but keep the TV on, keep the internet on, and check me out, www.luciofernandez.com. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, paremos esta bobería, I know, I'm going, ya me voy. The director's already busting my chops here. I'm doing the show. I'm doing the best I can in the conditions I'm in. Déjame tranquilo, por favor. Estoy trabajando aquí. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with the show because this is the last show of the year. Happy New Year, people. Let's enjoy this show. Whatever it is that I'm putting together for you guys. Let's go check out this guy. I can't even pronounce his name. He's Canadian. Who cares? I love him. He's my body. He's a great singer. John J. Hibbert. Check him out. Check in este tipo. Este loco que es socio mío, amigo mío, pero canta su fenomenal, es tremendo cantante, tremendo. yo le enseñé todo lo que él hace, todo lo que él hace, yo lo enseñé, yo le enseñé a cantar a ese tipo, yo lo enseñé a abrir la boca, cómo tiene que cantar, él no sabía hasta que me conoció a mí, yo lo enseñé a, él a cantar ópera, let's check this out, ladies and gentlemen, John J. Hebert from Canada. On stage, we have two Union City Artist Award winners, Ardasa Hagian and John Dia Moore. Check out what they had to say about the awards. 
Our dash is a beautiful guy. He designs uh, b boxing belts with his uh, grandson, Edward. It's incredible what the kind of work they do. Classy guy. And then we have John D. Amore. What can we say about John D. Amore? Hey, what can I say about John D. Amore? He's probably the most talkative person that's ever come out of Union City. You know, I told him to do a speech for about a minute and a half, two minutes tops. He spoke for, for uh, three and a half hours. The people went out to dinner, they had drinks, then they came back, and he was still talking. Anyway, check out these two these two guys. Wonderful guys. I'm just kidding about John DeMoore. He's a wonderful friend, a good guy. Check this out and then come back to me. So, thank you, Lucio, for, for that beautiful introduction. And my grandfather approved this message, but I want to just say something before reading his words. Um, there's something really special happening in Union City. We, the word Renaissance has been mentioned time and again here. Um, my grandfather's been here since the 1960s, living in, in Weehawken, working in Union City. And yet now is a time where his work is being recognized by the city and, and frankly by the world. You know, media publications, mainstream word, ESPN magazine last year. And this is all new, and it's because Union City is still a sort of an opportunity, a fertile soil for opportunity for a new small business to grow amidst you know, a, re a recession. Um, and here we are. So I think that, that idea of renaissance is empowering and beautiful to hear about, but we all have to do something. And I think that every year this is growing. This is our third year here. And I want to thank and applaud the wisdom of, of Mayor Brian Stack for trusting Lucio to do what Lucio does uh, here, because I think I wondered in the beginning, well, how could I get involved? And the answer is, is simple, stay in touch with Lucio. He will connect us to each other, and we'll, we'll find collaboration. So thank you for, for this opportunity and for being here. Both my grandfather and I, we have come back. So, in my grandfather's words, I'm proud to see that uh, thing, to see things that I didn't expect to see four decades ago when I started to craft these designs. Uh, what happened was the designs that I created came to life on the world stage. The spirit of the champions entered these designs and, and many people got to see them in ways that I never imagined possible. I'm proud and thrilled that the boxing community and the lo local public haven't overlooked the love and care that I put into my craft, my creations. I'd like to thank the commissioners I'd like to thank the mayor and all of those who work to create these opportunities. All of those who shine light onto the lives of the work, uh, the lives and the work of the creative. Thank you to the Valentino family in Weehawken who, who first hired me and gave me the opportunity to create. Thank you to my wife who has stood by my side throughout all my travels, my grandmother right there. And thank you to Sartonk. Which, which grew out of a vision that my grandson had about my work. I'm proud that what I planted four decades ago grew and didn't just die. Spirit entered my work, and because of that, here we are. May this day be a new start for all of us. Thank you. Okay, well, since I'm a writer, I obviously wrote a speech. Even though Lucio said, keep it short. Right. Say, yeah, you might want to sit for this. So once again, I'm standing here at the Musto Cultural Center, honored to be in front of old friends, new friends, members of my family, real family, <laughs> to be honored by the city of my birth, the city that made me the person I am today. There is absolutely no doubt about that. The families of my parents, the Shelzos and the Diamores, came to Union City in the late 1800s when the areas they lived in were known as West Hoboken and Union Hill. Both of my parents were born in 1925, the year West Hoboken and Union Hill became Union City. From birth, I spent the first eight years of my life growing up in a three-room, third-floor apartment on the corner of 25th Street and Summit Avenue. Directly across the street, Roosevelt Stadium was my playground. And for the kids in the neighborhood, the stadium was our backyard. I played bottle caps on the street and handball against the apartment building wall. I attended kindergarten in Holy Family and first through third grades 
at Robert Waters, where I made friendships that last to this day. Bargain Boys was my favorite toy store. We ordered pizza and mussels from Christina's. And Bill Musto was our mayor. After moving uptown to 4118 Bergeline Avenue on the corner of 42nd Street, I attended Washington School from 4th to the 7th grade, again forming lifetime friendships. I played touch football in the street and stickball in the parking lot. I heard my first Beatles song as I held a transistor radio up to my ear and walked down Bergeline Avenue. I got my first schoolyard kiss here, spending countless Saturday afternoons watching cartoons and movies at the Lincoln Theater, Davis's Toy Store, the A&P, Whole Thousands, the Hoagie House, David Burr's Clothes Store, the 43rd Street Library, and Bill Musto was still a mayor. <laughs> These were just a small segment of my Union City memories. The most valuable and important memories are those of my teachers at Robert Waters and Washington School. Back then, our teachers knew that they were planting the seeds of vital and useful knowledge into our minds, into our young minds. They cared that each child knew about current events, science, art, grammar, music, history, math, geography, physical fitness. And though it may have seemed like us kids weren't taking what they were saying to heart, when it, came, when it was time for those seeds to grow and blossom, obviously they did. That's why I believe it all started for me right here in the classrooms and on the streets of Union City. Several months ago, I was asked by Mayor Stack to spend the day at the high school that now occupies the time of the space of my backyard just to speak to the students. I did. I told them that the very streets they live on are the same ones I walked, ran, played with my friends, and lived on. And for some of them, the grammar schools they attended were the same ones I attended. I then explained that my success as a musician, a corporate executive, an author, and in 2012, I was the proud recipient of a proclamation naming May 24th John D. Moore Day right here in the city of my birth. And that it could also happen for any of them. All they had to do is listen and absorb to what the teachers say to them, and then apply the knowledge and the talent within them. It happened for me, it can happen for the future generations of the children of Union City, of New Jersey, and of the United States. And now, I'd like to thank Commissioner Lucio Fernandez, Mayor Stack, and all of the people on the committee of the, award, of the awards committee for bestowing me with this evening's honor. I want you all to know that I'll always hold Union City dear to me as the hometown of my family, the city of my birth, and where I learned the true meaning of the value of life. Thank you. Now we're going to bring you something special. Sí, le vamos a dar algo especial. Una pianista que yo vi trabajando en vivo en Lincoln Center en Nueva York. That's why this young uh, pianist, classical pianist, was performing at Lincoln Center. And I was able to catch her. This performance is wonderful. It's a wonderful uh, solo piece on piano. And I hope you guys dig it. Yehi Park. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
un regalo para ustedes. Le voy a poner un video musical mío. That's right, I'm going to put on live on stage one of my music videos because I tied up the producer and the director and the editor. Everybody's tied up back there and I'm doing whatever I want to do right here on live on stage. Le voy a mostrar algo especial, mi video musical, my music video for the new year. <laughs> swing and the jelly will roll fire in the brick and music in the halls swinging to the American Mambo rock the stone roll the hips Doodle baby doodle From hip to toe Doodle baby doodle From hip to toe Swinging to The American Mambo It's red, it's blue It's just like you It's red, it's blue It's red, white and blue Let's all groove Yeah, go, go daddy -o. Let's all groove Yeah, go, go, daddy -o. Boogie, baby, boogie To the American Mambo Mambo, 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 Mambo American Mambo Catch the fever, American Mambo Put down your drink, it up and then it's time to move Girl, let your body free, I come through with a groovy tune It's the Latin flavor, live from the city I'm in Bring the noise of the Cuban kid, make the party jump Get loose from the back to the front, don't stop till the sun come up Feel the rhythm, shake your body to the music We're gonna party all night long Shake your body to the music Party till the break of dawn Shake your body to the music Dancing till the lights go on Shake your body to the music Let me hear the Mambo song The swing and the jelly will roll. Fire in the brick and music in the hall. Swinging to the American Mambo. It's red, it's blue, it's just like you. It's red, it's blue, it's red, white, and blue. Let's all groove, yeah, go, go, daddy -o. Let's all groove, yeah, go, go, daddy -o. Boogie, baby, boogie To the American Mambo Boogie, baby, boogie, Mambo Boogie, baby, boogie, Mambo Boogie, baby, boogie, Mambo Boogie, baby, boogie, Mambo Let's go! Mambo. Mami, qué rico está este mambo. What a beautiful piece on the piano, ladies and gentlemen. Qué cosa más linda en el piano. Pero ya se está acabando el año, el año viejo, el 2014. Se está acabando y viene el 15 por ahí. Y yo voy a hacer más locura. Para el año que viene voy a cambiar todo el programa de televisión. Voy a votar a la directora. Voy a votar al productor, al escritor, a medio mundo. Y me voy a quedar con el programa. Bueno, si me vota todo el mundo no tengo programa. Pero así que me van a votar a mí también. Don't talk to me, people. That's why, right, ladies and gentlemen, for next year we're changing the dust. The whole schematic thing of this TV show. I am firing the director, the producer, the writer, the camera person. I'm taking over. It's a dictatorship. The Lucio Fernandez revolution on live on stage. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, people. I'm just kidding. 
We have to say farewell to 2014. Bye 2014. Hello 2015. On live on stage is going to be a whole new show with me, Lucio Fernandez. Check me out online. LucioFernandez.com. www.luciofernandez.com. Three W's and a dot. LucioFernandez.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Happy New Year. We love you all. Tune in with us 2015. God bless you. Goodbye everybody. Till next time. I am your host with the most, Lucio Fernandez. Good night, everybody. Peace out, baby. Call me, call me, call me, call me, call me.